Okay. So, let's just say you work at one of these normal jobs, right? Let's just say you're a doctor. You work, you work eight hours, okay? Eight hours a day. I'm sure that most of you watching this work about eight hours a day, right? So, work eight hours a day. Um, let's just say... I don't know what's the. I think that the. I looked it up. The average vacation time in the U.S. is about 10 to 12 days. So we'll just say two weeks. We'll just call it two weeks. Um, two weeks vacation. Um, so two weeks vacation. Um, so obviously you're working 50 weeks. You're working eight hours a day. Um, Let's just say I included the four sick days in the vacation time. So you're pretty much working 250 days a year. You get weekends off. 250 days work. So you get 110 off because of uh, um, Ford, of uh, Ford Motor Company. They're the ones that developed the two-day weekend. Thank them for that. Henry Ford. He's, yeah, th- imagine having a one-day weekend. That's what people did before. Or even no weekend. And then Henry Ford's just like, hey, you know what? The company runs better when we give people days off to rest and live. (laughs) So thank him for that. So 250 days of work a year. Um, What else do you want to throw out there? Uh, So I guess we should start doing the math on this, actually. So this is, let's just say, what would this take? So this is pretty much the average work time of the average person, right? Um, Eight hours, two weeks vacation, 250 days of work. How much money do you have to make per day to be a millionaire? Simple math. 250 days, you want to make a million bucks a year. Um, Well, I guess, yeah, a million bucks a year. Um, So you have to earn four grand a day, which works out to, what was the number here? $500 an hour. $500 per hour. Oh, how many of you can do that? <laughs> Five hundred dollars per hour, if you're working at this at this normal forty hour a week job. It's quite insane, eh? Quite insane. So, uh, Five hundred dollars an hour. So this is if you're at a normal job. I want to kind of also look at what if you had an I don't know an entrepreneurial job, I guess. So. Um, for people watching this, a lot of you I know are kind of like marketers and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll explain right here. <laughs> a lot of you watching this, because um, based on my Twitter followers, a lot of you are marketers, you're entrepreneurs, you have very long days, right? Very long days. You work more than the average person, um, self employed, stuff like that. So, um, is this on camera, by the way? Yeah, it's on camera. Okay. So, um, yeah, so let's just say you're an entrepreneur. 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 So you work a lot. You work 12 hours. Now, this is a very conservative estimate, by the way. Um, I've heard, especially recently when I've been interviewing and talking to people like this, um, a lot of them work, entrepreneurs work like 12 to 16 hours a day, if not more. Sometimes they don't get any sleep. Uh, this is conservative. 12 hours a day for an entrepreneur. Um, what else do you do? Uh, entrepreneurs, they also, oh yeah, I guess that this is kind of funny too. So we'll say maybe... <laughs> Maybe one week (laughs) of vacation. So maybe one week of vacation. Uh, I kind of have a a different opinion on this. So um, a lot of entrepreneurs, they do take more vacations. Some of them, some take less. Um, My opinion is that from some which I've spoken to, they would rather... Because, you know, entrepreneurs have a certain type of personality, they'd rather take the money that they would spend on their vacation and invest it back in their company to make their lives easier every day by a little bit. Um, That's what I've found. And also, I kind of think, too, that entrepreneurs, they kind of, I don't know, 
Why did I even do that? I have no idea. Um, they kind of want to try and make their own life a vacation in a way. Like work really hard for now so that your life can just be like a lot easier in the future. And I, that's my, my view. Like I, I don't sleep very much right now. I'm in school and I'm doing all this stuff and YouTube and teaching and stuff like this. And uh, I tell you what, I, I really miss sleep. I really miss sleep, everyone. <laughs> so um, anyways, we got maybe one vacation a week per year for these entrepreneurs, right? Um, so a lot of them work, even though most work every single day. I'll just say conservatively, no, oh, wrong end. Conservatively work six days a week. Um, and, you know, they live and breathe their business, right? So six days a week, uh, that works out to about 306 days a year of work. So you already look at this, 306 days per year for an entrepreneur, if not more. That's conservative with 250 days per year for the average worker, right? And so this is why, this is why entrepreneurs can make a lot of money. These, this is why pe- entrepreneurs make, can make $30 million. And meanwhile, a doctor or lawyer who do work hard and work a lot and are very smart and very valuable to society, um, you know, they tend, these guys tend to work more. Just more hours, more, more, more days. It's always going. And doctors get, you know, time off and lawyers and all that. So anyways... Six days a week, 306 days per year. We're doing some math here. So what do you think, how much money do you think that these people would have to make per day to make a million dollars in a year? Anyone have any idea? I'll give you a second. It is 306, or 306, $3,607 a day. A day. Now, what do you think that is to, that, what do you think that works out to in an hour per hour? What do you guys think? Well, entrepreneurs, they have to earn about $272 per hour per working hour. See, the other thing, too, that separates people like entrepreneurs from, um, from you know, people who are employed by someone else is that entrepreneurs can make money in their sleep, especially if they have a store online or own a store. Um, they can earn, like I've done that, too. I've sold freaking... I don't even know. I remember making t-shirts like three years ago or two years ago on a store and they were like, it's all automated. So if like you can get people to buy the shirts, you don't have to do anything. You just get the money. And like a month ago, it said I sold like 14 just randomly. I had no idea. Yeah, I sold like 14 shirts in, oh, I guess a month, which is I, obviously it's not a lot of money, but considering that I made that money without even knowing, without any putting any effort into this. And putting any effort into it. I think that's kind of cool. That ended up being like $5 per shirt. It wasn't really much. It's like, uh, I guess that's 70 bucks, right? I think it was 72 actually. Um, but yeah. So again, that's pretty much what you'd have to earn to be an entre- for an entrepreneur. So $272 per hour. Wow. Do you guys have any jobs that, uh, that pay that much? Are any of you employed like that? Oh. Some of them's really loud. I think the air conditioning just came on or something. Or there's an earthquake. One of those two. That is strangely loud, though. Hopefully you guys don't hear that. Um, So, where are we moving on to? So that's what it takes to make a million bucks a year. For the average person, it's $500 per hour. For entrepreneurs, it's about $272 per hour, if not more. Probably, actually, I mean less, because entrepreneurs work more, right? So, depends. Um, let's see. We're moving on to... Oh, yeah, one thing I wanted to talk about. So, uh, one thing I really wanted to talk about, which it kind of is relevant to, to being a millionaire, um, but I don't know. It's not too relevant to the topics we just covered. Um, okay, we'll erase this part of it. 